Hello guys, good morning, welcome to the Jess Castle TV and today we will study about King Safety okay, let's start let's look for a challenge here on leeches, 3 minutes so King Safety is so important in the game so as you can see there's a 3 golden rules in the opening principle first is you need to control the center with pawns or your pieces and second is you need to develop your minor pieces and there's a special move that's what they call castle okay so you're gonna move your king two squares to the right one two and then the rook will transfer to f1 so if you do this in the tournament you need to get the king first Put the king on g1 and then get the rook and uh, place the rook on f1 using same hand. Okay, that's what we call castle. Okay, so I castled my king to safety. Let's say uh, I'm attacking this bishop, spinning the knight. So when you play, it's so important to castle your king as soon as possible. Why? Because the goal of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king right so he sacrificed a piece just to open up my king side okay so we need to develop our minor pieces and then uh, I wanna move my knight here the idea is to uh, defend the king because I have no pawn here he sacrificed a pawn okay let's say yeah so I'm going to put my king here on g2 okay so he's keep on attacking my king and then capture queen takes and now as you can see the knight from c3 going to e2 can defend the king okay so he pushed um, he moved the rook to g to pressure the knight on g3 Okay, so here we need to simplify the position by trading the queens. For example, we can play knight h2 attacking the queen. There's also discover attack to the queen. Okay, you don't want to trade. And then uh, we're up on material. So when you're up on material, it's so important to hold the position don't give your opponent any counterplay let's capture the knight that is in our favor because he trade the pieces which is good for white because we're up a piece okay and as you can see our opponent uh king remain on the center which is not good because of that this king can be attacked by our pieces he can castle on the queen side by moving the king to c8 and rook will transfer to d8 but uh, we have a way to prevent that by moving the queen here to g4 so when you go through a check you cannot castle your king right okay so moving the knight we will just trade our pieces since we're up a rook we can activate our rook from a1 to f1 to attack the pawn on f okay let's see what is the idea here okay let's give check so when you already move your king you're not allowed to castle anymore okay so let's capture the pawn and then there's a pin coming right so rook f7 is pin okay so that is the importance when you uh, keep your king on the center your king will be in trouble okay so check and then here bishop the main idea is to threatening uh, me in one move so you're gonna block with the bishop or with the rook we can capture this with check and then uh, we can give check again you get a block with the rook and then rook takes pawn 
checkmate is coming you need to push the pawn here to prevent the checkmate okay but uh we can pin the we're pinning the rook so we're at the other attacker the rook and then here we can give me by playing queen takes a5 checkmate okay so now you can see that uh if you keep your king on the center and did not castle your king it will be a pr big problem since in the chess day in the chess game king safety is so important because king is the most important piece in the game so to avoid uh your king uh, in a trouble early in the game castle your king to safety you can castle king side or you can castle queen side okay that's for today thank you bye